Katie. I went to work feeling excited today. You're already at work too, right, Katie? Yes, of course. It doesn't matter to me whether you come to work or not. So can you please stop sending me texts all the time? Katie, you're as cold as ever. But I just got to work. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's not important to me. Katie, why do you say such cold things? You and I are close, right? What do you mean close? I've told you many times already, but you and I have nothing to do with each other. Well, I kind of like that you say that, Katie. So, you know, I was spending the night with a certain woman. Uh-huh. Who do you think this woman is? I don't know. It's none of my business who you spend the night with, Raymond. Please quit texting me while I'm at work. And I think it's in your best interest to go to the manager's office sooner rather than later. Katie, what's wrong? Are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm saying I don't care. If you're angry, Katie, I apologize. Because I was supposed to go on a date with you yesterday. But I went out for a drink after work. And this happened. And I was with another woman. Of course you'd be angry. But nothing happened. I want you to believe that. What? You're so weird. I don't care. There's no way I was going on a date with you. What are you even talking about? Anyway, the manager needs to talk with you, so please go quickly. This has nothing to do with work, so I'll stop texting with you. Why do you keep talking to me so coldly? Don't you care about my behavior? Why would I? Because we're getting married. Huh? Married? And you didn't even get mad when I told you I was with another woman. I'm not marrying you. Please keep your jokes to yourself. Katie, how cold can you be? Rather than this, I suggest you go and see the manager as soon as possible. He's furious that you didn't submit all your documents. Really? Of course, Katie. You gave me an excuse, didn't you? Why would I make an excuse for you? What? Because the man you will marry might get yelled at by your boss? Isn't that hard on you, Katie? Normally, you would take care of it before that happens, right? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't care what happens to you. It has nothing to do with me. Why do you keep saying such cold things? Well, I like that snippy side of you too, but... I'm not getting anywhere, so I'll end this now. I'm at work. Okay, okay. I knew you were mad at me. You're so cute when you're jealous. I'm not jealous. Anyway, I'm going to see the manager. Please do. Katie, you're so cold. Why didn't you wait for me? What do you mean? I thought we were going to have lunch together. Huh? Why? Why? I thought you made lunch for me. Why do I have to make your lunch? I really don't understand. Because we're getting married, right? Why can't you at least make me lunch? I'm not getting married to you, Raymond. How many times do I have to tell you? I see. I knew you were mad at me for standing you up on our date. Huh? That's right. When I was spending the night with another woman, you must have been lonely. No wonder. I told you. I have nothing to do with you. It doesn't matter who you're with. Please stop making up a story on your own. Katie, you were that upset. You were even late for work. I'm sorry. Whether I'm upset or not, it has nothing to do with you. I'm free to do whatever I want, Raymond. I really don't know what you're talking about, but you're freaking me out. That's right. Even though it's company approved, if I act too freely, you'll feel awkward about it. I'm going to make a lot of changes for our marriage. I'm sorry. Of course, I'd like you to make changes about your work. Other than that... I really don't understand what you're saying. I'll do my best to make you happy to be my wife. 
You'll see. I'm not marrying you, you know. Well, let's try to do our best this afternoon. Katie, are you okay? You were late again because of Raymond, weren't you? I heard from the manager. I think you got another strange misunderstood text, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going crazy. What the heck, right? I want to get through the wedding as soon as possible. I'm reporting him to the manager too. He's usually late for work and his work ethic is bad. The boss has his eye on him. He said he doesn't do anything particularly noticeable. He knows there's a problem, but... I know. Most of the time, it's text attacks. I don't think the manager can stop him. I think it would be better if he started some kind of trouble. I'm sure the boss and I can work on it. I'm trying to help you concentrate on your work. Thanks. Anyway, I know the wedding will change everything. That's my only hope now. Well, I'll figure out how to deal with him after that. Depending on how he reacts, I'll definitely do something about it. Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't say that. Okay, I'll text you later. Katie, I'm out drinking again, but I won't be late tomorrow, so don't worry. What? What do you mean tomorrow? You're worried that I'm going to cheat on you, right? What are you talking about? Who do you think I'm drinking with right now? I don't know. It's none of my business. Again, you pretend to be indifferent like always, huh? It's a woman I know very well, Katie. What? But you don't have to worry. I have nothing to be guilty of. No, I'm not worried about it at all. You're always dodging the issue like that, aren't you? What? You're worried I might be cheating on you. I know exactly how you feel, Katie. Huh? I mean, acting indifferent is cute and all, but if you keep doing that, I'm seriously going to cheat on you, you know? It's not cheating on me if you're not with me. Leave me out of your love life. Enjoy drinking with whoever you want and fall in love with whoever you want. Anyway, tomorrow is an important day for me, so I'm done talking to you. Of course, it's an important day for me too, right? What are you talking about? Coming late for work or going out drinking without permission? I'm with another woman, but I have nothing to be guilty of. It's who I am, so you should just accept it. Huh? More and more, I don't understand what you mean. Anyway, Raymond, enjoy your you time. It has nothing to do with me at all. Katie, I'm sorry. I drank too much yesterday and couldn't get up. I'm heading to the ceremony with your sister. I have nothing to hide, so don't worry. With my sister? That's right, but I have nothing to be guilty of. I'm sure you know that, Katie, but I swear it from the bottom of my heart. I swear I had nothing to do with your sister. That's great of me, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. So is that why I couldn't get in touch with my sister? Hmm? My sister was with you? I tried to contact her, but I couldn't get a hold of her. Well, that's the way it is. I really have nothing to be guilty of. So hold the wedding for me. Huh? Your sister and I are hurrying there. You'll have to give a good excuse and make everyone wait. Katie, what's going on? I just opened the door to the wedding hall and nobody was there. If it's for the ceremony, it's already over. Huh? What do you mean? Don't be so angry. I told you nothing happened with your sister. How can there be a wedding without me, the groom, in the first place? How long are you going to keep this up? It's enough. How? Huh? My husband is Ken Hummel. We just finished the wedding ceremony as planned, so please tell my sister that. What? Hummel? Hummel, you mean Hummel from the department one floor up? Yes, that's right. I am now the wife of Ken Hummel. Huh? 
You were two-timing me? You cheated on me? Stop it. You acted indifferent and then you married another man? You made a fool of me. I'm not going to let you get away with this. I was going to marry Ken all along, and somehow you made something up on your own. You weren't even invited to the reception. You tricked and two-timed me. Don't make up some story. That's what I should be saying, you know. How dare you keep sending weird messages to my former girlfriend, now my wife. Huh? I'm Ken Hummel. I'm Katie's husband. She's been showing me these texts for years. Your Hummel from upstairs? That's right. You've been sending a lot of strange texts until now, and you've been annoying Katie. I've had them all recorded. I'm going to submit everything to the company as evidence, including today's text, so be prepared for that. Evidence? Submitting it to the company? What the hell does that mean? I was going to marry Katie, remember? That was all in your head. You're completely mistaken. Huh? Think about it. Did you ever go on a date with her? No, I always went drinking first, so... Did she ever introduce you to her family? No, that never happened. Did Katie ever talk to you? That's because Katie was just acting aloof. She was just shy, right? How is that possible? It's all your fantasy. You're wrong. How messed up is your brain? And yet, you keep sending Katie these strange messages. What you did is stalking. Huh? Stalking? Stop making weird accusations. Today's text is a definitive one, and you're with Katie's sister? What the hell are you thinking? You're the one who set me up. What are you talking about? It's all you're doing. Katie hesitated to accuse you, her senior, of stalking her. She didn't even disclose the text communication. That's why the manager couldn't take action. But he knows all about it. But today's text were solid evidence. Wait a minute. Isn't that harassment against me? I was supposed to marry Katie today. Why are you talking like that? I'm sure you and Katie weren't close at all. That's not true. Katie would have married me. She should love me with all her heart. What makes you think that? Because from the first time I met Katie, she gave me a warm smile. She greets me every day with her bright and cheerful voice. And every time she did, she'd show me a beautiful smile. Whenever I come to work, you know, I'm sure she's in love with me. Huh? What are you talking about? You're really a basket case, aren't you? Would she smile like that at a guy she doesn't like? It's because she loves me. That's why she smiles that kind of smile. Besides, I texted Katie every day, and Katie would reply to my messages. No matter how you look at it, me and Katie were dating. You've got it all wrong, don't you? I don't quite understand your train of thought. Anyway, I'll report this matter to the manager. Stalking is a huge offense, and this will probably go all the way up to the company president. You'd better brace yourself. Wait a minute. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? What is it that you're going to report anyway? I'm telling you, it's your stalking. Think about how it affected Katie mentally. Katie did return my messages. She said we were in a relationship. Then talk to your boss and your superiors about that too. I'll sue you for invasion of privacy if you do anything. Oh, okay then. I'm going to sue you for stalking Katie. That would be a very serious charge. What the hell? Anyway, from now on, don't get involved with us at all. If you have something to say, go through the manager. Why do you get to tell me what to do? Katie, why did you betray me? Was it because I was late? Or was it because I was with your sister? I thought my husband told you not to contact me anymore. That's terrible. That's so cold. I love you, Katie. 
Was it wrong that I was with your sister after all? That's not the reason. It's true that I was surprised to see you with my sister, but that's not why. Then why did you betray me? There was nothing to betray, because I have had nothing to do with you from the beginning. We work for the same company, in the same department. It's natural to say hello and smile. Isn't it natural as a human being? We're just colleagues. What? You acted special to me, right? You treated me better than anyone else, right? Even your smile was a bigger smile, you know? It wasn't any different than anyone else. Besides, most people in the company knew. Almost everyone in the company knew that I was dating Ken. You didn't know, Raymond? I didn't know. What? Everyone knew? That's right. Of course, the manager knew, so he was worried about me and concerned about me. Everyone was disgusted by your actions, you know that? You're lying. I didn't know. So if you keep following me and Ken around any longer, I really will have to talk to the police, okay? Please, don't do that. Well then, let me ask you one thing. Why did I even get fired from my job? Really? I didn't know about it. That's a lie. I can only think it was you. I don't know, but think about it. You were always late for everything and you were always on your phone during work. Your sales performance did not improve and you were often talked to by the manager, right? On top of that, you were stalking me. I don't think you were of any benefit to the company. Huh? That's very rude of you. So when they fired you, I think that's what they said, didn't they? Well... And you got my sister involved. Why did you do that? What are you talking about? You lured my sister into hanging out with you, saying you were my colleague, didn't you? Huh? How did you... I asked my sister and she told me. The day before the wedding, she said she drank one beer and suddenly felt sleepy. It was you, wasn't it? No, no. I just happened to meet your sister for a drink. So you're saying my sister is lying? I'll look into it. Look into what? We'll file a police report. She couldn't attend my wedding because she couldn't wake up. Wait a minute. Don't go to the police. I'll admit it. I made her fall asleep. Why did you do that? It's a criminal act, okay? Because you always acted indifferent, Katie. I thought if you knew I was with your sister, you'd give me more attention. So I thought I'd do it before the wedding. What a selfish thing. Are you insane? I'm sorry, but I told you straight, so don't report me to the police. After all you've done, who are you to ask that? My sister already filed a damage report. She said she got the results of the doctor's diagnosis. They're going to start questioning you as a suspect right away. You're lying, right? Katie, please. Please don't do that. I beg you to cancel it. That's not how it works with my sister. Please, I've told you the truth, haven't I? That's not the point. That's what you get for what you've done. Please take this opportunity to reflect on your past and start a new life. Leave me alone to start on mine. Good luck in your new workplace, and good luck with the police. Wait a minute. You could help me a little. Why would I help you in anything? I should be filing a police report for stalking. No, don't do that, please. Well then, you need to get a grip on reality. First of all, you need to be honest at the police station. That's the only way, isn't it? Oh no. Let me tell you something. If you bother us again, I will report you to the police. So please, keep that in mind. That's not true. I just loved you. This happened because of your delusion. Please take a hard look at the mistakes you've made, okay? Will you be waiting for me? After that, Raymond was summoned to the police station to be interrogated. He was questioned and his daily activities were confirmed, but due to insufficient evidence, they were unable to make an arrest. My sister was just asleep so I'm relieved that nothing else was done to her. 
I have not been involved with Raymond in any way since then. Rumors spread that he has been summoned to the police station. Raymond is having a hard time finding a new job. He was having trouble making a living, so he started working at night. I heard that his appearance has changed completely. Well, if he's alive or dead, so be it. It has nothing to do with us. I explained the situation to my sister, who had suffered so much because of me, and apologized from the bottom of my heart. Of course, my relationship with my sister has never changed. I have started my new married life, and am busy being a good wife. With Raymond gone, my workplace has become more comfortable. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.